Either way, there are skillful ways to wake ourselves up so we can engage in meditation. Straighten your posture. Open your eyes. Try walking meditation. Instead of using your breath as the anchor of your attention, try listening to sounds. Or, develop a pattern of sensations to focus on, for example, first the feeling of breath passing in and out of your nostrils, then the diaphragm rising and falling, and then the gentle breeze of air just above your lips. Restlessness we're so used to keeping busy, that meditation can seem boring at first. If that's the case, try focusing on very specific sensations, like the out-breath. You can even try to control your breathing, taking shorter in-breaths and longer out-breaths. Most importantly, try not to be too hard on yourself. Pain You may feel pain when you begin to practice meditation for longer durations. It could be just a sharp, fleeting pang in your legs, or it could be dull cramps or aches in your back. Whatever it is, try to simply notice it and accept it at first. Acknowledge that it's a feeling, just like any other feeling, and that it will eventually pass. If it persists, try directing your attention to another part of the body. And if the pain gets intolerable, adjust your posture as needed. Fear in the rare instance, panic or fear may arise. Should this happen, try to shift the attention towards something outside the body, like the air whooshing in and out of your nostrils, or sounds. But don't force yourself to pay close attention to whatever it is that might be causing you emotional discomfort. And if it's too intense, don't worry about opening your eyes, or just taking a break. Dot. Meditation's challenges Meditation only looks simple. It can be surprisingly difficult, and that doesn't mean you're failing. Bring a good attitude. It's important to approach your new meditation practice with a healthy outlook. Try to be relaxed, curious and friendly. Staying in touch with these qualities will be useful as you encounter some of the inevitable ups and downs of meditation. If you find yourself striving too hard or criticizing yourself, take a few deep breaths and give yourself permission to relax and take it easy. Remember, the purpose of meditation isn't to achieve perfect control over your mind or stop thinking altogether. The intention should be to bring a more compassionate, calm and accepting approach to whatever happens. In order to see clearly what's in the present moment, there has to be a non-judging, open and allowing presence. A space that is friendly and warm and accepting. Manage expectations. Basic mindfulness meditation is very simple, even if it isn't always easy to do. More than anything else, it requires a commitment. Admiring the idea of meditation doesn't really do anything, who has taught mindfulness meditation for more than 40 years. And remember, mindfulness and meditation are not panaceas. Thoughts won't disappear. Difficult emotions may come up. When you start meditating, especially early on, it may feel impossible to stay focused. But in time, it will get easier. As you begin, rather than trying to achieve some out-of-body experience, see what it feels like to just hang out in the present moment, noticing your physical sensations, thoughts and emotions. The ideal thing is to just be present with what's going on. Put aside all expectation and judgment about what's going to happen. Common hurdles Self-criticism When we begin meditating, it's all too common to beat up on ourselves. I'm doing it wrong. I'm not a good meditator. I'll never be able to follow my breath. Most everyone who has tried to meditate has experienced some version of this self-doubt. Though it's natural impulse, it's not helpful. Remember, the purpose of meditation isn't to enter a bliss state or eradicate all thinking. It's simply to be present with what's going on right now, whatever that is. Try to let go of any judgments you have about good meditation or bad meditation, and whether or not you've achieved anything. We all have the capacity for clarity, for calm and for mindfulness. Sleepiness Many people get sleepy when they try to meditate. This may be because our minds are simply overstimulated, or it may be because our bodies are tired and need some rest. 